Hi there, and welcome to She Spice. So with all the buzz encompassing Shockholms and the entire world looking into his business, with significantly more intensity from the federal authorities and the public, it seems like more people are getting hauled into the show with him. His long-term companion, Ashton Kutcher, is by all accounts the most recent superstar to get up to speed in the blend. These two have been tight for quite a while, holding over their common endeavors in media outlets. Their kinship bloomed in 2003, while both were in the middle of creating shows for MTV. It was during this time that Kutcher kicked off the production of his hit trick show. Punk'd got a call from Diddy, and in a flash, they were looking for some kind of employment together, handling the New York City long-distance race like Old Prot. From that point forward, they've been indivisible. Anyway, ongoing improvements have tossed Ashton into the spotlight close by Diddy, and everything boils down to certain comments. Ashton made things in the past that have re-emerged. You see, during a meeting with Sean Evans on the Zesty Wing, eating spectacles, known as Hot Ones. Ashton was given some information about his fellowship with Sean Combs and the famous gatherings that Diddy was known for throwing. Ashton's reaction was at first dismissed, yet with the mounting allegations against Diddy, individuals are presently revisiting those remarks Ashton demure evaded the inquiry, recommending there were things he was unable to unveil, enigmatically expressing, I have a ton I can't see, followed by a delay and a a warning. I can't see that one either. Wow, okay, I have a ton. I can't tell so can't see that one either in those days. It was all in great fun, only two or three buddies, triumphing ultimately yet, presently with government specialists raiding Diddy's cushion in association with the test people, are causing a commotion at Austin's words. They're contemplating whether he was aware of more than he let on about those gatherings. Did he choose not to see something obscure going down? And this isn't whatever Ashton first was. Wound up in steaming hot water with the public simply last year. He and his better half Myla Coonies got fire for remaining by there that 7S show co-star Danny Masterson, who was sentenced for two ladies and as of now, serving 30 years in jail after Masterson condemning occurred kicks and Kutcher were uncovered to be among a gathering of dear loved ones to have submitted messages for the litigant the two stars addressed Masterson's personality, encouraging the appointed authority to force a more limit. Ed sentence Kutcher called his co-star, whom he additionally featured close by in the Netflix sitcom The Farm, a good example and an individual that is reliably there for you when you really want him, while Cooney's called Masterson an astonishing companion. Sure or more, every one of the remarkable. More established sibling figures to me, while letters supporting Masterson, Surface Ashton, and Mia confronted prompt kickback particularly considering their association in Thorn, a foundation battle, ung against sex double-dealing of kids following the serious reaction against their letters. Kutcher and Coonies delivered a statement of regret video, which was broadly censored and ridiculed online for seeming uncaring and dishonest. We know about the agony that has been brought about by the person letters that we composed for Danny Masterson, Kutcher said in the clasp. Coonies added that we support casualties. We have taken care of this generally through our responsibilities and will keep on doing so later on. Kutcher made sense of the fact that Masterson's family had reached out to his previous co-stars about composing the person's letters to address the individual that we knew for quite some time, but the letters were not composed to scrutinize the authenticity of the legal framework or the legitimacy. Of the jury's two or three months prior, Danny's family contacted us, and they requested that we compose character letters to address the individual that we knew for quite some time the letters were not composed to scrutinize the authenticity of the legal framework or the legitimacy of the jury's decision. What's more, they ventured down from their positions of authority at this time to join the Counter Kid Essay Association that Kutcher established in 2009 with ex Demi Moore. The current word on the road is that Ashton Kutcher's previous comments could have landed him in some major trouble. Rumors from far and wide suggest that bureaucratic examiners are really intrigued by what precisely went down at those scandalous ditty parties that Ashton indicated yet didn't let the cat out of the bag on evidently summons are flying left and right focusing on any individual who could have. Celebrated with Diddy currently Ashton's name is supposed to spring up on those summons as a component of the examination and on the off chance that they find any proof well things could get serious that the you're giving summons to a many individuals right now to get a superior comprehension of what that resembles. And in the event that that is the situation and Ashton Kutcher was given a summon, it's beginning to feel like a ton of individuals may be up to speed in Diddy's wreck. Perhaps that is the reason a few people are staying away and avoiding any relationship with him. After all, 
No one needs to get messed up in an examination and all that pessimistic exposure. Even feline Williams has had her say cat. Ashening people to avoid Diddy's gatherings because they're never your generally common social affairs. Ah, because P. Diddy will be needing a party and you got to let him know no. You got to let him know no. I did. I did likewise. Panther rightly spilled that Diddy frequently throws parties welcoming young fellows in the business who are exposed to an in return for commitments of cash and distinction. Panther featured a particular episode where a female legal counselor coincidentally found a youthful craftsman performing unequivocal follows up on Diddy in his office. When she strolled in, the entryway wasn't locked, so she didn't mull over strolling in, and when she strolled in, she saw Christopher Williams perform on PFF in her meeting. Puma guaranteed that these gatherings additionally saw the interest of other male individuals from the Hollywood tip-top participating in different sex exercises. Diddy himself has straightforwardly conceded to acquainting craftsmen like attendant with the grown-up way of life when they were still minors, and who can forget when Diddy welcomed Fabies to one of these gatherings, marvelously later uncovered that the all-male social occasion was so accused of. Sexual energy that he needed to concoct a rationalization about going to the restroom just to get away from Joe Rogan, additionally spilled on his digital recording about how wild Diddy's gatherings can get. T. He even shared a tale about Luke from two live groups bobbing out of one of Diddy's coos things were too insane. Luke from two live groups definitely said he was to leave early when Luke from two live teams is leaving early, like you got a wild party. Currently, we should do a fast recap on what's going on with the dramatization, so Diddy's homes in Los Angeles and Miami were looked at on the grounds that he was the objective of an administrative examination done by a branch of country security group that handles human TFK. The test is being driven by the U.S. lawyer for the Southern locale of New York and completed by the branch of country security examinations, Transnational Coordinated Wrongdoing Division. The examination comes from a large number of similar charges set forth by a few common claims recorded in New York against brushes, incorporating one documented in December in administrative court that additionally included claims of SEXFK. Vigorously, groups of HSI specialists looked through comms homes, some riding in shielded vehicles to some extent since specialists accepted comms employing private security at every one of his homes. Specialists were approved to look for reports. Telephones, C's, and other electronic gadgets that hold information or recordings HSI in New York said it executed policing as a component of a continuous examination in collaboration with nearby policing HI units in Los Angeles and Miami, and would provide additional data as it opens up now. Individuals were saying that Diddy escaped his house, and when the specialists showed up, they hadn't tracked him down yet. They kept his two children, Christian and Justin, which certain individuals find so miserable that Diddy just left his kids hanging like that. One of the many consuming inquiries today is, where was Sean Diddy Combs while these strikes were being done at his homes? His kids might have been in serious peril since, supposing that you have much insight into country security. They don't play. I mean, they appear there with their weapons and tanks. It's exceptionally scary. They will assault, assuming they feel there's a sprinkle of so many people who are naturally stunned that Diddy would leave his children possibly at risk like that. There were even murmurs that he flew off to some confidential island with specialists hot on his tail, yet it turns out he wasn't on that fly by any stretch of the imagination. As a matter of fact, he was spotted pacing outside Miami Air Terminal. I suppose you can't help thinking about what will occur next, Diddy, so certain individuals think he was attempting to lose them by concocting a slippery arrangement to get out of town without a follow. The next day, Diddy's lawyer made an assertion criticizing the assault yesterday. There was ridiculous abuse at the military level. As court orders were executed at Mr. Com's homes, there is not a remotely good reason for the unnecessary demonstration of power and antagonism displayed by specialists or how his youngsters and representatives were dealt with. Subscribe She Spice for more videos.